headlines. Live television captures deadly protests at the Gaza border as a U.S. embassy opens in Jerusalem. Stay here. This reporter found himself just 200 feet away from a tear gas drop. CBS News was there as Israeli soldiers fired rubber bullets at oncoming Palestinian protesters. As WBZ's John Keller reports, this is the deadliest day of protests in years along the Gaza border. Outside the new embassy, angry protesters who see its opening as a hostile act scuffled with Israeli police. Inside, President Trump's daughter celebrated the new embassy as a milestone on the road to peace. We welcome you officially and for the first time to the embassy of the United States here in Jerusalem, the capital of Israel. Her husband, Jared Kushner, a Trump aide charged with promoting a Mideast peace plan, defended the controversial move. Israel's a sovereign nation with the right to determine its own capital. And Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu sounded a note of conquest as he hailed a, quote, glorious day. We are in Jerusalem, and we are here to stay. But along the Gaza border, some of the worst violence in years, as Palestinian protesters burned tires and threw rocks, and Israeli drones dropped tear gas. Officials in Gaza say 52 protesters were killed, and more than 2,400 were wounded. Palestinian leaders condemned the embassy move as a peace process killer. We witnessed today a ceremony of uh, the Prime Minister of Israel, and the administration of President Trump burying the peace process, burying the two-state solution. The contrast in outlook couldn't have been more stark. Now, the world waits to see whose predictions are more realistic. John Keller, at large, WBZ News.